Well, hello. Hi. This is Hackers Archangel reporting to you live from his bedroom. Ting! That's where that whole shiny tooth thing happened. Okay. So, rundown of what I've done to my desktop. It is no longer a PC. It has now become... Dun, 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 a Hackintosh! Yay! No one's clapping. Damn. Okay. Uh, okay, so basic rundown of hardware specs. It's running a Intel Core i3, 530, 2.93 standard clock speed. Nothing too crazy. 6 gigs of DDR3, 1,333 megahertz of RAM. Uh, standard cache size of like 4 megs of L2. I don't know. Anyway, standard DVD drive. You get the gist. The only two special things are the motherboard is an H57-USB3M motherboard. Gigabyte branded. Um, not a very common board for most Hackintoshes, but one I chose because it was really close to my original motherboard that decided to die on me. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It was a sad day in the world of Dustin because he was a noob and failed hard. Anyway, back to life as we now know it, and this baby. Yes, I'm kissing the box, and it's okay. So this baby right here is a Galaxy. It's an NVIDIA GT430, 1 gig of RAM, DDR3, made by Galaxy, comes with CUDA and some physics, just to zoom in the show. Really nice card, requires a 300 watt power supply as a minimum. Doing what I'm doing right now, which is running the minimum, not a smart idea, but money's tight, and you do what you do till you get otherwise. So, just to show you my really bare bones here, so, I would love to show you all the different things that I've recorded in the previous and uh, renditions of this video, but I got to thinking some people may want their animidity, so I opted to not do so. Um, but for the people that are going to get recognition, because they publicly made their stuff available and they deserve the recognition, are these people. Tony Mac at TonyMacX86.com, uh, Norzo Swartz over on DeviantArt, and AMC Real at DeviantArt. Those three people. Also, um, want to give a brief shout out to iTalk Apple on YouTube because she inspired me to customize my Mac, as you can very well see. Very custom. Oh, yes, yeah, very pretty. Hey, my friend's attempting to get my attention. I will get to her in a minute. Alright, so, Tony Mac is awesome because he's made iBoot, iBoot GE, and MultiBeast with MacMan over at the Tony Mac site. So, here's what I did. I did the iBoot MultiBeast method. Um, currently running 10.6.5, and I'll show you in about this Mac real fast. Right here. Right there. Yes, indeed. A computer showing a dual-core Xeon. It's supposed to be a Core i3. It's a cosmetic thing, I suppose. Not going to cry about it. Showing the memory properly and showing the proper startup disk. So, I'm happy. Alright. <clears throat> back to this. So, as you can see, it, you know, wants you to agree to some stuff. Okay, now I have a DSDT file. If you do not, choose Easy Beast. I've been told it works very well. Very well for this. Um, I, in my case, have a DSDT. So, I chose user DSDT. Um, then you have to choose system utilities. A mock. If you don't, the system's not going to load right. I found out the hard way. Okay, so then for this particular mobo, you have to go under uh, the audio cache, and you don't need an enabler. You just need the ALC889. Mine says upgrade because I've already done all this. And then you also have to go under disk and choose to J Micron, SATA, and ADA, PETA, IDE. All, all the same. Nothing for graphic because this particular card doesn't require it. Um, that just does the. No, where are you? That just does the. No, wrong folder. That does the Tony Mac NVIDIA update because it's a Fermi card. So it just runs that after you get the 10.6.5, which you must do in this order. You do it this way. You do this update first. And while this one's running, you. Okay, you open this. Skip. You open this, and you start running it. Okay, you open this and multi-beats at the same time. And then the NVIDIA one you can do 
once you start multi boost because I had an issue with multi boost starting up and crashing the installer while it was installing or before. So I make sure multi boost is open and at least to this screen before I start running the. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> God, two in a row. Go for three. No. Alright. Anyway. I make sure this is at least in the screen before I start running the combo update package. I don't know why, but my computer would be an anally picky. Um, network. Off will have to go in under here and get the real tech one. I chose this one. Works out well. Um, that being said, this motherboard has been giving me some fits about that. It, on reboot, like to forget that it's a network card and it doesn't properly set itself up. And then when you try doing the smart LAN thing, that tends to just make it worse. So, the only real solution is, crack open the side of your cave, reach in, well, unplug the power cord, crack open the side of your cave, pop the CMOS battery out for about 30 seconds, press the power button, make sure it's drained of all power, pop back in, slide the cave back, unplug it in, flap the power button, and run with it. And then it works beautifully, so I don't know. Um, that being said, I didn't choose anything specific for Chameleon because Juvia DSGT does everything just fine. I installed all the software. Um, because I really wanted just to have the options there. Not gonna really run this because that's just ridiculous. It's already been done. Duh. Anyway, um, so from that point, it's just a matter of getting all this cool stuff here. Which I did using Deviant Art, and I'm gonna show you where I have this stuff hiding. Um, in a customization folder because I'm anally retentive. Alright, so the background I found on. A random website, and I don't remember exactly where. Um, these two I found on DeviantArt. Alright, for the Norzo short thing, I'm going to show you. Alright, so he does... Let me get this in place here. He's got an installer. And then he also has an uninstaller. And he also has an I do a dock I container. Just one thing. I didn't really like it. Now, that's just my personal taste. Um, you guys may or may not like it. That's kind of your call there. But... I kind of like the whole Tron look that I've got going on. The, uh, you know, the uh, troll Tron. So, anyway, he does come with an uninstaller. Um, you run the installer, and then it asks you to reboot when you're done. Which is kind of nice. Uh, so, oh, one other thing, too. I have an add-on section. So, I've added Mighty Monitor to the computer, which is this here. I have the Apple Wireless Keyboard, the new one with the two batteries, not the three. And it works out well. Um, iTunes is not open. Okay, so the dock does what it's supposed to. The dashboard, I mean. It has the ripple effect does very nicely. And I don't need two notepads, although I could. Uh, so anyway, so that works beautifully. Um, I installed a driver for NTFS. Gonna skip because I actually don't think I've installed it yet, have I? Maybe. You didn't investigate that. I should have. Anyway. Uh, that's not worth the point. So, there's a driver I've got. It's called NTFS 3G. It works out really, really well. Let's me access my Windows-based hard drive without much problem. Honestly, it lets me access it and read and write to it, which is the cool part. All right, so there's that. And then I've got VLC installed. It does do 1080p video, but as much as I would love to demo that, I think, uh, I think ScreenFlow would have a cow and... Probably not go for it, so we're gonna choose just the basic Green Day music video. Uh, hitching right now. Yeah, long view here. We'll do long view. Alright, so here's long view. If you can't see it, I can. Gotta love Billy Joe fitting on the couch. Alright, anyway, so VLC works beautifully. Um, everything else runs beautifully. I have our Megatron on here. Um, not that I really need it, but I have it. It's a game, very fun game. Kind of a Tron kick now. Anyway, so this is basically the rundown of the computer and all the things that I more or less did to get accustomed. Uh, there will be links at the bottom towards everyone I've mentioned that need mentioning. And let's see, is there anything else? Um, if you have any questions, I'm on YouTube. Uh, Hackers are Angel. Obviously, if you haven't found me by that, you found me somehow and you're there. Uh, also, you can find me surfing the Urk chat rooms. I'm I'm most commonly in Demonoid's room. If you know how to get there, hooray. If not, well, then find me because I'm not telling you how to get there. <laughs> I'm such a nice guy, ain't I? Uh, anyway, um,